Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Em, and today's video, I'm going to share with you another note-taking app that you can use for your online class or for digital note-taking. And this is called NoteShelf. So NoteShelf is compatible with both Apple OS and Android OS. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. NoteShelf is a note app for digital note-taking, annotating PDF, and for your digital planning. Unlike GoodNotes 5 and Notability, NoteShelf is sold separately, unfortunately. For iPhone and iPad, you can avail it for 499 Philippine Peso, for Mac OS, 399 Pesos, and for Android, you can purchase this for 249 Pesos. So now let's go ahead and start our walkthrough. The device I'm going to use is the MacBook, so this is the Mac OS version. You're going to be needing a pen tablet that is compatible with your OS. I was using XP Pen Deco Fawn, but I changed it to Weon H420X because it's smoother in note shelf. Okay, going back to note shelf, this is the homepage and on the upper left is the sidebar view as usual where you can see all the categories of your folders. Then on the opposite side, we have the search icon and the plus icon. Here we have the quick create for quick notes that you can edit a little bit. Then we have the new notebook where you can create your digital notes and there are various cover designs to choose from. And you can even create your custom designs. There are also enough options for the paper templates, an option for your paper orientation, the height of the lines of your paper, and the color options. And lastly, the paper size option. You also have an option up here for your backup and your password setup. The icon on the upper left of your workspace is for other notebook options. You can customize the page template, rotate the page, go to a specific page of your notes, set a password and backup your notes, and change the scrolling direction, and here is the other information of your notes. Next is the Add icon, where you can add a page with the same style as your previous page, or add a page with different style. You can also add a page from your photo gallery and import documents. You can also add media like photos, emojis, and audio recordings. This audio recording doesn't sync with your handwritten or type written. On the upper right corner, you can enable the shapes icon to draw perfect shapes and lines. Next is the share icon and the pages icon. So on the pages icon, you can select pages to copy, duplicate, rotate, replace, tag, bookmark, move, share, and move to trash. Now let's try the main toolbar. First off is the pen tool. So there are four different types of pens where you can customize the size of the ballpoint from 0 to 8 and then the color of the pens. So I'm just going to show you how these pens look like.
You can enable the favorites toolbar and add in your most used pens, highlighters, and eraser by clicking the heart over here. Next tool is the highlighter tool. Same options apply here. So as you can see, there are two kinds of highlighters. There's the round tip and the square tip. You can also add in your favorite highlighter color in your favorite toolbar. Another tool is the eraser tool. So there are three different sizes to choose from. You can also clear the whole page or undo. There's also an option to erase the entire stroke or the highlighter only. And to erase partially, you have to disable all of these options. The next we have the text tool. The options are found at the bottom of your workspace. You can add a color fill to text. Then in this paintbrush icon, you can change the font style, size, and color of your text. You can also choose the character styles. Then you can also decrease or increase the indent level of the selected text. And you can also insert a tick box, bullets, and numbered lists. And lastly, the alignment option. Moving on, we have the lasso tool where you can take a screenshot of the selected text or photo, cut it, copy, delete, resize, change color, and options to bring to front or to send to back. And the last icon is for documents with hyperlinks. So going back to the homepage, let's see the other options available. So if you right click on a notebook, these options will pop up. There's the option to open, open in the window, show in closing folder, pin the notebook, change the cover, rename, duplicate, move, share, and move to trash. Good thing this has a trash bin so you can restore your deleted notes. So here you can add or hide your folders by clicking on this. So the one I'm excited about in this note app is the built-in digital diaries or the digital planner with hyperlinks. Okay, so for this to work, you just have to set your dates and then you can start. So let's have a look at the rest of the digital diaries. So now let's try one of these digital diaries. So let's say for example this one. You can change the page template but the hyperlinks will disappear. You can also import a digital planner from the internet. So this digital planner has hyperlinks so you can also annotate or basically write anything here.
Another thing you can add are PDF documents, so you can mark up on these or annotate on them. So I guess that's the end of my walkthrough and in my opinion, if you're going to spend money on a Note app, I'll still go with GoodNotes 5 and Notability since Note Shelf is sold separately. But if you're an Android user, you can still try the Note Shelf since GoodNotes 5 and Notability are compatible with Apple OS only. However, if you don't want to spend at all, you can try Color Note or Killer Notes. Unfortunately, these two note-taking apps are only compatible with iPad or iPhone. So if you're an iPad user, these two note-taking apps are a must-try. So in my opinion, these two apps are the best free note-taking apps that are comparable with GoodNotes 5 and Notability. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you on my next vlog. Peace.